It's been 205 days since President Biden took office, which means that nearly every federal agency in the government is now led by somebody appointed by President Biden. Not the Postal Service, though. That's still led by this guy. Remember him? He's still there. Uh, and it is a wonder. Um, he has made it, his name is Louis DeJoy. He, he has made it his mission from the very beginning to slow down mail delivery and screw up mail delivery. And he's actually done a great job at that. Remember destroying the sorting machines? Uh, under his leadership, the Postal Service has not only screwed up its delivery times and its delivery systems, it's ramped up its business with a logistics company that Louis DeJoy used to run, a company that continues to pay him millions of dollars through ongoing investments and contracts. He's also under federal criminal investigation for what has been reported as a blatant as all get out straw donor scheme by him and his company to make massive, allegedly illegal campaign contributions to Republicans. Despite all that, though, Louis DeJoy has been able to keep his job. That's, we assume, because President Biden technically can't fire him. Due to the way the U.S. Postal Service is organized, Louis DeJoy doesn't report directly to President Biden the way cabinet secretaries do. Instead, he reports to something called the Post Office Board of Governors. That's the board that's essentially Louis DeJoy's boss. And President Biden has been able to appoint a few of his own picks to that board of governors since he took office. But there's others who are still left over from the Trump administration, including the head of that board, a man named Ron Bloom. Mr. Ron Bloom fully supports the Louis DeJoy show. Uh, supports his slow down the mail plans, supports everything he said he wants to do to the post office. He says he fully supports Louis DeJoy sticking around. He told The Atlantic magazine in April, quote, right now, I think Louis DeJoy is the proper man for the job. He's earned my support. He will have it until he doesn't. I have no particular reason to believe that he will lose it. Wow. Ron Bloom really supports Louis DeJoy. Why is that? Well, today we found out it's at least mutual support. Louis DeJoy also supports Ron Bloom in a very specific way. Uh, the Washington Post reporting today that between October and April, Louis DeJoy purchased up to $300,000 in bonds from an investment firm where one of the managing partners is that guy, Ron Bloom. Louis DeJoy's boss, the one who's very committed to keeping Louis DeJoy in that job, while Louis DeJoy shovels hundreds of thousands of dollars to his firm. <laughs> The spokesperson for the Postal Service said today all of the payments DeJoy made to that financial firm where his boss is a managing partner, quote, adhere to ethics regulations because the Postal Service doesn't do business with that firm. OK, the Postal Service doesn't do business with that firm, but Louis DeJoy certainly does. And so does his boss. So maybe that's a problem. He's still there. But perhaps we can add this to the long list of things Mr. DeJoy might have to answer for the next time he at least finds himself in front of Congress, maybe.